Oh, righty, righty, right. <clears throat> let's um, let's go back to as it should be. Let's see here, fifty-seven. Oh, it's a start of a new concept. How exciting! Hey, Bruno Romanos, how's it going, man? I need to show my face. I'm gonna sit like this, maybe. That's probably a good camera angle. Hey, listen. How dare you? How listen? Hey, hey, hey! That's key. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? So, it was uh, it was fun painting yesterday. The self-portrait, and. And uh, I actually went back into my archive and uh, tried to find um, tried to find uh, all my old portraits. Pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna start a new concept. Does anyone have any ideas on um, dark fantasy esque theme? So let's roll the dice and let's see what what we can draw. Major, how's it going? Ah, oh, cheers, Cosm Sam. Hey, Zelly, how's it going? So, what should I draw? Mad Alchemist. That's a pretty cool one. Harbinger of Death. All right. Four more topics, then I'll roll the dice. Joe, give me a suggestion of a topic, or is your topic bear? Bear. All right, I get it. I get it. All right, so we've got bear, Mad Alchemist, Harbinger of Death. Hey, Janae, how's it going? Alms, Quentin. Oh, Quentin. It's your special day today. Fantastic. Just because of that, Quentin, I will serenade you on your birthday in Swedish. Ja, må ha leva. Ja, må ha leva. Ja, må ha leva ut i hundrade år. Ja, vi ska det skjutas. Ja, vi ska det skjutas. Ja, vi ska det skjutas. På skottkärna fram. Det blir bra. Witch Hunter. The Miner. All right. Crazy Butcher. All right, we got topics. We got topics. Let's do a dice roll. And as, as per usual, it's not this one. It's uh, the one that's coming up now. Brrr, number two. And number two would be... Mad Alchemist, because if we count Joe's bear, then Mad Alchemists by Atsuki. How sick isn't that? And happy birthday, Q. Mad Alchemist by Atsuki. It was so beautiful. It was amazing. <laughs> Joe, no, 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 no. It has to be. It has to be correct. Right. Um, and for those interested, check this out. Those who missed it, a, a selection from ranging from two thousand one till today of portraits. Isn't that cool? If you're gonna wanna have a look at it while while I do my warm up, go ahead. It's a pretty fun front portrait over the years there. Uh, anyways, let's start. So the topic is um, Mad Alchemist. That's key. Right, cool. <laughs> Joe, it's got to be fair, right? It's got to be fair. 
So mad alchemist, mad alchemist. What can we do? We could do a crazy bottle to the like bottled up alchemist, right? But that's kind of more funny, haha. It's gonna be dark fantasy, mad alchemist. How about an alchemist that tests the potions on itself and is a half mutant, like turn into vampire? Maybe alchemist is he's trying to cure himself from his vampirism. Uh, Janae, no, no, I haven't uh, given uh, the hero cards any more thoughts. I've been super busy. Uh, but um, I like the idea. I want to do it. And it seems like you guys like the idea as well. So, uh, so why not, right? I just got to find some time to do it amongst many things. It's just a very busy... Uh, very busy as per usual. What's new? <laughs> but yeah, the hero cards. I I like the idea of the hero cards. Right? It's um. How about the alchemist is a woman? Like doctor. Right, so I came to this conclusion. The alchemist, the mad alchemist, right, is a woman not wanting to be a vampire. So she's she's like a professor type thing. So let's try to give her correct kind of wardrobe of a person, a, a educated person. Um and what happens is that she doesn't want to be a vampire. And obviously you can't stop being a vampire because it's a blood disease. But, because, you know, vampires are real. Uh, but it doesn't stop her from experimenting, right? Because she doesn't know better. So what she's doing is she's giving herself potions that are corrupting her body uh, and kind of mutating her wings into to these... Uh, kind of misfigured odd wings and uh, and uh, giving her all sorts of boils and rashes and uh, most likely because you know heavy metals are usually involved in in the vaccines and so on and obviously um, I guess it's silver against vamp uh, werewolves uh, so maybe she's just thinking you know like uh, silver and all these things, so it's kind of messing her body up. Even though vampires don't care about silver. George, this brush is called Sampled Brush 13. <laughs> uh, Zealin, yeah, maybe, maybe. Hey, Stygian, Stygian 6, how's it going, yo? Yo. So, Alchemist. Mm -hmm. If, would it be weird of her carrying out like a bucket would that that would redu remove her from being educated definitely George uh, I don't know um, as you can see uh, I have a lot of brushes that I've collected over the years and some I've made myself uh, and it's really hard for me to know which is which uh, but I don't, this is definitely not my brush. 
uh, could be from the Han. Stygian. Uh, I'm all good, man. I'm all good. It's Friday, isn't it? <laughs> I hope. Yeah, it is Friday. Whew. And it's Quentin's birthday. Happy birthday. There's another birthday song you can sing in Swedish. Which is... Uh, it goes on the, in the lines of what day is it today? It's not a normal day. Uh, it is Quentin's special day. But in Swedish, obviously. Hey, Abstergo, I'm all good. Man. I'm all good. I'm getting to do a new concept. Um, I want to give... Um, this the idea is a, a Mad Alchemist uh, by Atsuki. Um, and I, I spun the idea that it's a woman who's turning into a vampire. And she's trying to stop her vampirism uh, with alchemy. So she's trying to alchemically alter her blood or her disease. Uh, so she's not a vampire anymore. But obviously you can't because it's your vampire for life. So what happens is that it's, it kind of corrupts her body and turns it into this mutant kind of or, or defect type deal. And then... Um, and that's where I'm at, where I am at the moment. Kind of playing around with that idea. Yeah, Zeli, she wants to poison herself back to life. Exactly, kill, kill the, kill the disease with, with more, much like. Um, uh, have any one of you seen uh, World War Z or read the book World War Z? Uh, like they cure the zombie virus by making themselves sick. Happy birthday is Jenny. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, okay, Bulldog Julette Schnapp. Snap it. How's that? Was that close? Or did I completely and utterly butcher it, Janae? It was almost close. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll write it in Swedish. Have try that one. That's great, Jenny. Try that one on for size. Gratis på födelsedagen. Vad är det för dag idag? Det är ingen vanlig dag för det är Quentins födelsedag. Hurra, hurra, hurra. Hurra, hurra, hurra. George, no, nah. no, nah, let, let me, let me, um, it's a woman, but she's holding a book, you know, because she's trying to solve the mystery and she's holding a vial. And what I, what I had in mind is that the vial here is, is like a, uh, like a thing with a screw lid, uh, glass and a screw lid. And in there is the cure. So she can mix it. So that's the idea of it. She's standing with the vampire hand.
Quentin, you must be special because you got two serenades. Two happy birthday, two different kinds of them. Crazy. Everyone else is going to demand that now from now on as well. But they're not getting it. Because Quentin, you are special. <laughs> hey, have food and breakfast. How's it going? Good morning. By the way, I was I was thinking <coughs> um, regarding the the hero cards, like the subscriber hero cards, and you doing an illustration. Uh, <laughs> that there, there's my thought. How about that? <laughs> no, I, I I got caught in a in, in a thought if I should say it or not. Um, but I was thinking of what, to what degree, uh, to like, to what extent should we, um, should I push you guys, or should there be rules, or will, would the rules be um, limiting you guys too much f from being creative or taking your time, you know? Because what, what in the end, what I would love to do is. Is have them, right? I think that would be really, really cool. Like, oh yeah, there's the Atsuki hero card, there's the Janae hero card. And so one one thought that I would I was I was thinking is should should them should there be a, a, a forced like a forced um, design process in it, uh, in the sense of oh, you're going to design your hero in an illustration. You got to flesh the design out before you start the illustration. As an example, that's that's what I was thinking. Would it? Would it? Would it make the the journey boring? If you would have been having to to do uh, so much work, or is it more fun to just jump straight into um, the illustration and solve the design as you go along? But obviously, you would. You know, it's 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 a tricky tricky subject, right? But I think one thing that is important for the hero cards is uh, you guys getting a template. If you freelance for, let's say, the Elder Scrolls uh, card game or Hearthstone or any of those um, card games, is that you get a template with the proportions and the focal point should be, you know, there's a set focal point, so you can't... Um, play around with canvas size too much. You can't play around with focal point too much. You know, like, oh, the information of the painting is the bottom right when it should be dead center, more or less. You know, so that all the cards, because there's a square within the square where the most of the image will be shown. Hey, Mila, how's it going? Welcome back. All rise, Queen Mila. Hey, Tihana, how's it going? Bruno Romanos, yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Like, if you're going to do a hero design, step one, design hero, right? Uh, but maybe that should be optional. If you want to do that, um, do that, right? Because what matters in the end is the strength of the hero card.
just what I think. How's um, how's Wizards going, Mila? Those Wizards of the Coast, right? No. Yeah. Or is it Magic? The Gathering. Is Magic the Gathering, Mila? You're working for Magic the Gathering or Wizards of the Coast? Or is it the same? <laughs> Did I, my brain just stop working? They're the same. <laughs> good, good move, Bjorn. Good move. Be uh, idiot in public, live on internet. Smooth, smooth guy. Gathering the magic wizards. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I was correct. I, I didn't do any mistake. Pfft, come on. How dare you? How rude. <laughs> so rude. I'm amazed. I would never. Hey, turtle lady. 80. How's it going? Should she have a like a untied tie? You know, because Yeah, I think so. I kinda like this. This could turn out to be actually quite a cool um I don't want to make her too um, Victorian. I, st I still need to make it fantasy, even though she's an alchemist, right? But alchemists were more like wizards at the time, so I, I got to keep that in mind uh, because it's very easy to go, oh, uh, uh, Victorian alchemist, but it's it has to be more medieval. I need to remind myself that that is the fact. So I can't do that costume design that I just did. It has to be different. And more trinkets, vials, herbs, shit like that. Mila, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's 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 more fun. I'm enjoying it a lot more because, like I said, I went back to comfort zone because I've been experimenting so much with technique and and and. Uh, approaches and I felt like the reason why I went back to my comfort zone is that I felt like I, I uh, the exploration aspect is great but it started to become boring to be constantly be uncomfortable right always challenging myself with like line art or or, or strange topics or weird approaches or uh, uh, technique explorations. So now I just felt like, okay, okay. I've done that for a while now. And it, it was great. And I learned a lot from it. I, I would say I learned a lot from it, from pushing my, my stylistic choices uh, quite a lot. Um, but I'll go back to having fun for a while before I start experimenting again. Sounds like I just became single. <laughs> I'm going to be experimenting for a while.
did I just divorce a part of my artistic journey? That wing is horrible. That's my better wing. Way better wing. <laughs> Mila. <laughs> Mila. Yeah, man. By the way, um, you guys might not know this, but our very own Angry Sausage um, got hired by a games company. Bam, bam, bam. Congrats, Angry Sausage. And he was like, ah. Uh, I'm, uh, no one want to hire me. It's like, oh, come on. Come on. Have you seen those skills? He's just... The only thing, I think, for Angry Sausage that held him back uh, was himself. Not confident enough, not brave enough to uh, accept the fact that he has to step it up. I think I think a big part of it was that he wasn't scared of um, being rejected, but I'm glad that he took the took the step to do it because he obviously has the skill for it because he got hired. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think he is here, but still, he might watch the he might watch the stream. Because he is active still. Uh, he posts now and then on Discord. So, But most likely he's very busy. You know, work. When it performs and all that. I think it's his first, first real contract as well. And it was for a big company. Uh, I don't remember the, the company. But it was a, a pretty well-known studio. And he kind of casually name dropped it in a you know a conversation on Discord. Kuru, yeah. You should as well. Nothing, nothing, uh, you can't lose uh, by contacting. And even more so, think of it like this, right? You, you contact your studio, the one that you want to work for. Um, and you show them your art and they're like, ah, oh, he's not where, he, let's say, hypothetically, they're like, oh, he's not where we need him to be skill wise. Then you go, you know, they so say no, no, thank you, or you know, you don't hear anything or whatever. And then you're like, all right, okay, I'll show them. And then you go away, um, work on your art some more, and then you you send your work one more time, and they're like, wow, look at the progress. Let's hire him. If he's progressed that much on his own, imagine uh, that person being in house or. Uh, working on our next project together. Eternal Lady. Uh, let's see if we can quickly Google it. Constantine Marin.
there. Here's his work. Look at all that juicy textures. That's something I love about artists like this. And he sits in the same s s uh, scope as um, certain other artists, but this all these grain and textures and photo sourcing and it's really, really good. And uh, him thinking that he's not good enough to be hired is like, come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just just take the step you're there you're there don't don't worry you're good you know um but um that i must say though he progressed a lot um uh over the years of of hanging out at the warm-ups and on the discords and just looking at his progress um You know, over the years. Really, really cool. From being um, scared of, of doing certain topics to, to just accepting it and uh, attacking the, the, you know, starting to climbing that mountain. Yeah. He's really, really good. And he got really, really good, even better, recently, which is great. The juice, do you want the juice? You can't handle the juice. Have you seen that GIF? That's really funny. I'm going to find it. This one. <laughs> I love the wobbly eyes. The eyes are like all over the place. I want the youth. <laughs> you can handle the youth. <laughs> I can never see the, this scene without thinking about this ever since I saw this gif. So stupid and so funny. How do you paint a gold color? Gold isn't a single color. That's the thing. Gold is a behavior of a material. It's the how you how you make gold is how you define it in in in, in the bands of color. And by that uh, is like this, right? So let's say you pick gold. This is gold. <laughs> a gold bar the only way to make gold you can't choose a single color to make gold because you gotta do the full range of how it how it behaves You gotta study gold and and look at the the difference in in values that they it has um, so that when you when you paint gold you know the like how it transitions in the colors because it's very shiny material. It is. It behaves in a very, very specific way, and the, you gotta. You just gotta study it. And I'm probably butchering it because it's you know just from the mind straight away. But it's it's a very specific way it does, and it's um, almost behaves the way like a, a horse's fur behaves. Anthropomorphic, uh, <laughs> anamorphic. Like the highlight isn't. It goes around the, each form, 
like the the highlights isn't um, it's a re semi reflective surface. I mean, you can have a gold mirror, but it kind of warps around the forms, the reflections, like a horse's highlights. Uh, a horse's highlights are following the form um, differently than a highlight of a another material. Like a lot of highlights are or like this around the form, if the horse's form is like that, the highlight sits on the surface like this, rather than the surface like that. That's how I see gold. Juice. You can't handle the juice. So stupid. Stupid. GIF. Ruining the, that scene. <laughs> I can't watch that scene again without just laughing. And it's a sort of like super serious court case. But all like all things, George. You got to study it and un understand it yourself. And when you understand it yourself, you can you can take shortcuts to explain visually what it should look like. But if you don't understand how it acts, every shortcut you take in order to explain it, uh, you might explain it the wrong way, and in return, miscommunicating um, what you're trying to express. So that's why studies are important. Not to study to copy, but study to understand a subject. Copy is a skill of itself, but a study should not be a one-to-one -one copy. A study should be as an attempt to understand the subject. You can do a technique study. I could paint his clothes, her uh, clothes in gold for sure, but uh, time is up. But I kind of like the idea. It's a cool idea. So thank you very much, Atsuki. Um, I think I will. I will definitely push this further. It's a cool subject, like a mad vampire alchemist trying to solve her own demise, kind of, or maybe killing herself in trying to cure herself. Kind of like a sad ending. Either way, time is up. Let's see. Um, let's see who we can grade. Max is on. Let's rate Max. Thank you very much, Voodoo. Grade Max Gerwick. All right. Um, have a great weekend, everyone. Have a great Friday. Good night if you're in that part of the world. Otherwise, see you guys on Monday morning or over the weekend with music streams. Um, George, Monday morning or random over a weekend. But Monday morning for sure. Same time. Uh, all right. Have a good one. You guys are the best. Outro time. Toodles.